Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Hello and welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm your host, Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about how you can use explainer videos to market your product. So explainer videos, if you follow the startup world at all, if you go to a software as a service website, there's a good chance that you've probably seen a, a play button at the top. You watch it. It's basically, it might be a little funny, but it's going to basically talk a little bit about what the product does exactly and explain it in about a minute or two. I think Neil and I both have some good experience around this. Neil, what are your initial thoughts around explainer videos and what have they done for your businesses? Sure. Explainer video, as Eric mentioned, it just explains your product or service in a really simple way. And I tend to create companies that have complex products and not everyone understands them. So explainer videos boost your conversion rate as long as you can explain your product ideally under a minute or ideally under two minutes if you can't do it within a minute. What most people don't realize about these videos, they think the shorter the better. Yes, you're going to get more views and more people sticking on if it's shorter, but it doesn't necessarily convert into more sales. My best converting explainer video is around two minutes. It's for Crazy Egg. And what it does is it breaks down all the reasons why you should use Crazy Egg and the objections most people have when they come to Crazy Egg site and they're like, oh, what about, uh, will it slow down my website? Or uh, what if I don't like it? You know, can I cancel and get my money back? There's all these objections that people have. You know, like, is it really that good? And then we'll talk about all the other companies that use us, right? So by having an explainer video that's more detailed out, that not only explains what you guys do, but answers objections. And the objection part is the key because we've tested the videos without the objections. That's how you get the most conversions. And typically that video is not going to be able to be created under a minute. It's going to be somewhere between one and two minutes. If it's more than two minutes, well, you need to condense it down and just answer the major objections and try to do a better job of explaining your video in a more simpler fashion. But overall, have explainer video that's between one and two minutes long that explains what you do and answers objections. At the end, that's when you mainly want to answer the objections. And then at the very end, you want to have a call to action for people to sign up for your product or service. When I think back to my days at Treehouse, we actually had a very good video team. And this is before we, uh, you know, they they were just focused on creating uh, videos for training people on how to code or how to do web design. But when I came in, I said, hey, you know, we should probably do an explainer video. You know, we actually created a a couple of different ones. So we had one where it was like a really, um, we had like an attractive (laughs) girl talking about how she learned to code. And then we had another one that was more um, kind of like an Apple type of um, explainer video where, you know, it's a white background. You have the CEO talking and you have other teachers talking and there's like testimonials and and things like that and that one really hit home it seemed more genuine and it seemed more about it was more motivational right and that one worked for us it was maybe about a a minute and a half or or two minutes or so and um yeah you know literally you have the ceo talking about what the company is about and then teachers talking about you know what the mission is and also you know you have literally there's case studies about how one guy you know he uh, you know, learn how to code from Treehouse. And then a couple months later, you know, he's paying off his mortgage from the iPhone app that he developed. So, you know, you have specific case studies and you're able to kind of hit the point at home really quickly. And it also, I think there's like an emotional uh, aspect to it too. So long story short, that video became, um, you know, the, the crux or the, the really foundation of um, really driving more user growth for them. Um, and, you know, we did a lot of, uh, we ended up doing a lot of video advertising. So, um, you know, you have to make sure you have a good video for pushing the point forward. And I think if any of you watch Shark Tank at all, Squatty Potty, they did about $20 million worth of uh, sales in 2015 and um, actually had them on the podcast on, on Growth Everywhere if you want to listen to that. But um, basically, it's a tool um, that teaches you how to uh, poop better. So you literally <laughs> like you're sitting there. Um, Wait, Neil, do you have a squatty potty? I do. I'm like, I love it. <laughs> okay, there you go. So, And I found it from the explainer video too because in their explainer video, they're like squatty potty. They're, they're talking about poop from like ponies or unicorns and how it's like ice cream and it was hilarious. So I bought it. Right. You, so you got to have something that, that's remarkable, right? Something that people will talk about and people are going to share it more because think about it. When you're creating an ad, first of all, you're essentially creating content, right? It is content marketing. 
Um, so if you create something remarkable, um, when you create something boring and, and kind of disgusting and you're trying to educate people at the same time, but if you make it funny, it becomes remarkable. And for them, you know, they spent, um, I think it's, they spent a couple hundred grand on that video, but they got over a 600% ROI on it. So, you know, that's what, you know, a good explainer video can, uh, can do for you. Um, yeah, I, I guess, Neil, uh, where, where are some good spots or where do you turn to find good people that, that can do good explainer videos? Sure. Another one to also look at, too, before I go into where you can find people to help you out is Dollar Shave Club. Their video went viral and they sold to what? Unilever or something like that for over a billion dollars. Now, the biggest mistake people make when creating explainer videos, they turn to a company and they're like, create the explainer video for me. And that doesn't work well. These companies suck at creating scripts. I don't care who you use. Like we use Demo Duck to create our videos. There's another guy who's dirt cheap based out of Orange County that we use. His name's Sean Duran. Uh, he works really well for us too. And it's like cheap pennies on little like, you know, demo duck we pay into the five figures. Sean is really low four figures. And these days you can probably even get the explainer videos done for like 500 bucks. But um, you can also go on like YouTube, find other people who have explainer videos and just hit them up or Google for some places. But I usually go to either demo duck or I go to Sean Duran. And a lot of people look at these videos like, oh, do I need it with humans like Dollar Shave Club? or uh, Squatty Potty, or do I need it more animated, or do I need it like a stick figure kind of like how Dropbox had the cardboard cutouts. And what I would actually say to that is, you don't necessarily need an explainer video that's visual, or, or it all has to be visual, but you don't necessarily need a cartoon one or a realistic one. That doesn't matter too much. I've tested that to see what impacts conversion, and I found that none of that stuff really mattered. It was more so the storyline. So we paid a company called Conversion Rate Experts to create our Crazy Egg storyline. They have an amazing copywriter there named John Jack, and he created one that uh, handles objections, and that's how we got the best sales from it. In addition to that, throughout the whole process, we found that the voiceover person did impact conversion. So we tested a few of them. The guy that converted the best, I believe his name is Mike O'Brien, and uh, he's based out of San Diego. So you can Google like Mike O'Brien voiceover or something like that. He's cheap few hundred bucks his voice conveyed more emotion and people when they listened to the video they felt that our company connected more with them because mike was talking on behalf of our company or you know he doesn't say hey i'm mike he was like talking as if he's crazy egg and that did help our conversions not by much but it was a bit more than a 10 percent increase when we tested using him versus a random person for the voiceover Right. And just another key point on Mike O'Brien. I mean, great voice. I've heard him in a lot of different explainer videos, but I remember a couple of years ago, we did one with him and, um, you know, we had a script, but um, I, I think the thing is when you're working with a, a, a person that's going to handle the, the voices, you need to talk to them and, and talk about what the story is exactly and not just have them read off a script. And what happened there was, you know, we, we made the mistake of literally just having a video company send him the script and he just read off of it. Um, but, you know, it, it there kind of seemed to be a disconnect when, when he's reading off it. So he literally just seemed like he's reading off a paper. Um, and really, that's our fault at the end of the day because we didn't communicate to him, hey, here's exactly what we're looking for. Here's the problem exactly. Here's what we're trying to solve. Um, so you need to make sure that you get the goal across uh, because these people can't read your mind. Um, so that's just a key point there. Also, make your video generic enough, and when, or not generic, standalone enough, where it doesn't have to go on your website. So everyone believes you put an explainer video on your website. The most valuable part that we got from our explainer video is on YouTube. So it didn't go viral like Squatty Potty or Dollar Shave Club, but we use it as a remarketing feature. So if anyone visits Crazy Egg, they don't buy, they go to YouTube, they'll see remarketing video ads. And we generate so many sales from that. It's our best converting uh, paid acquisition channel. And funny enough, we don't even use the explainer video on our own website. We use it purely for YouTube advertising or YouTube remarketing. We have tested it on our own website and it did increase conversions like on one of our older landing pages. But again, we found that the most effective place for our explainer video was for YouTube ads. Love it. Okay, so I can close it off with a few places that you can go to. Neil already gave one. There's Demo Duck. 
Uh, you know, if you want to go cheaper, you can even go to AngelList, and that's angel.co. There's a recruiting section uh, that you can go and find great videographers, and these are generally people that are freelancers or people coming out of college, um, and you can just look at the work they do. If it's work that you're looking for, easy, you just hire them. Video Brewery is a great marketplace. I think the projects start as low as $500, and you can have people from all over the world bidding on your project. These are experienced videographers to people starting out anywhere from 500 to 1500 dollars if you want to go on the high end um, or if you want to look for inspiration you can take a look at sandwich video so it's literally like a sandwich that you're going to eat sandwichvideo.com uh, they did videos for airbnb they do a lot of you know expensive startup videos and these are videos that will cost you know 100 grand 200 grand plus uh, to get something good done so take a look at all these um, and try to come up with some ideas as neil mentioned um, it is important to have a really good script to move things forward. Otherwise, you know, no script, you're not going to be able to sell. So that's it for this episode of Marketing School. We'll see you in tomorrow's. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.